and welcome to Avengers Nails featuring my Lagoon Captain America doll. Yes. Yes, it doesn't look very attractive as the real Captain America, but I love the Avengers, not just for their looks, even though the entire cast is pretty much super hot. So maybe I'll have to like stock up on dolls like this and then just have like it sitting behind me on like a shelf or something and like that can just be in every single one of my videos. That would be pretty cool, huh? Yeah, so my last video was on these nails and it was great. Oh, the camera. <sighs> um, <laughs> and so that went okay, but then um, on my left hand, since nail bloggers don't care if we wear different designs on each hand, I did these nails and they're really sloppy because I did them in a hurry, so the cleanup's not very great, but they're these mermaid gradient nails. I don't know. If Sorry, sometimes putting your hand behind makes it focus better. I don't understand that. Anyway, so I really loved these. They were really cute and they're really classy. They're not too crazy, I guess. Like, I can see how some people wouldn't want to do these because they're so vibrant and crazy and abstract. And these are just gradient mermaid nails. They're not that bad. So, yeah. So what I'm going to do is I'm just going to do exactly what I did in my last video because I already did these before I created my nail account and YouTube and all that crazy stuff. So I'm just going to show you the polishes that I used and then kind of give you a run over of how I did it. I'm not a, okay, does that work? Right, right, okay. Um, so anyway, I started again, and this is again optional, I started with um, Revlon's Quick Dry Base Coat, although you don't have to use Revlon. Um, and so I use a base coat because it's nicer and it protects your nails from staining from the other polished colors, but you don't have to do it, especially if you have a white as a base, because I can't really stain your nails. The only thing that can really stain your nails really bad is like black or navy blue or something, or dark colors, or yellow. It's really bad. It's really bad. Um, <laughs> so wait for that to dry. That takes like two minutes. Um, then paint on a coat of white. Um, I use Salon Perfect um, Sugar Cube. Um, and you know, a good thing to use sometimes is a white that belongs to like a French tit, like a French nail kit like this, because they're usually more opaque than normal white polishes. You can actually watch Simply Nail Logicals video on what's the best white polish. It's a really great video. You have to look it up. It's awesome. So watch that video and with the white, if I would recommend doing two coats on each nail because you are going to see some of the white in this mani as you can see. So if it's not opaque, you might see some streakiness and it will just make your mani look weird. Okay? So yeah, anyway, so I painted on the white and I waited for it to dry for about five minutes and sorry, there's like people in the background. Hello. 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 Um, okay, oh, Matt, all the flakies, S N A S. In other words, shiz na nail art, say. All right, um, okay, if she makes the shelf of these. Captain Rick is always gonna be in the front. <sighs> I'm dying over, okay. <laughs> Okay, so I waited for that to dry for about five minutes so I could be sure it's completely dry. And then I took a makeup sponge. I actually have a clean one with me for this video. And you can buy, I bought these at Walmart. You can buy them in a makeup store, but I find them to be cheaper at Walmart. You can get like a giant bag for like five bucks. It's pretty cheap. And you take your colors. Um, I used a uh, Pure Ice Wild Thing, although I don't know why they call it Wild Thing because there's nothing wild about it. It's a lime green. And I used um, Revlon's um, Electric. It's this pretty mint blue. And then I used Pure Ice French Kiss. Again, not understanding why this is called French Kiss. It's blue, not any romantic Valentine's color. Don't ask me. And then I'm also using Revlon's Impulsive. I don't know why they would call it purple Impulsive. You can't even tell that it's purple in here. It looks navy blue. I'm sorry. My camera sucks, so it's, it's purple. It's like a bluish purple, sorry. So I took those colors and I sponged them on, you know, the thing like green, mint, blue, purple. And then, you know, um, I already stuck the vinyl on. See, these vinyls are from twinkledtea.com and you can check out their site. It's about $5 a sheet. There's about 24 vinyls on this sticker sheet. Um, this is Twinkle Tea. You'll get them in this little package. They are a great vinyl company. 
Let it um, snow. Okay. <sighs> I wonder. Let it snow. Okay, go away. <laughs> no. Um, so, you know, once you have the vinyl down, press it on and then take your sponge, colored sponge. Sorry, I don't like it when my door is open. Um, and you take it and, you know, you just dab, dab, dab on the sides. Make sure you get it on the sides of your nail really good. And for this one, I actually only need two coats. But depending on the colors that you use um, or the brands, you might need more or possibly, well, actually, I never would recommend one coat. So you might even need three, but I only used two, so that was good. And then you take some tweezers, and then you take the vinyl, and then you peel it towards the end of your nail like that. So that will give you the best way of not making polish spread everywhere. And remember to do that while the polish is still wet, or else it will get tacky and gross, Stay and it will mess up your nails. Good. Now, no. Oh. <gasps> sorry, oh. sorry. <laughs> um, hey. <gasps> I have a great relationship with my little brother. Yes, so, yes, she's um, in love with me. So anyway, so with the whole vinyl thing, when you peel off the vinyl, you want to make sure it's still wet. Did I already say that? I'm getting really confused. You made me lose my train of thought. Thanks so much. Thank you. You're Thank okay. you. Praise the Lord for your losing train of thought. You're welcome. Um, <laughs> oh. Gosh, I really can't remember what I was going to say. Oh yeah, dark polishes. Polish is smearing. Since there's going to be white showing on this, any smearing of the polish will stand out a lot. And so again, the tips that I used when I did my last video is you always use a glossy top coat to not smear because matte top coat, I found smears polishes really bad. So don't use matte. Um, as your first choice. Use glossy top coat. I use Sally Hansen hard as nails. It came from a French tip kit so it's pretty it's pretty good. And remember you make sure it's it's got a it's really globby on there. I don't know it's really what's the word? I don't know what I'm looking for. I don't know what word I'm looking for. Um, but make sure that it's really wet and then that you don't press too hard or else it will smear any especially the blues or like the green or something. Oh my gosh. <laughs> Um, and then second, you probably won't have to swipe between each thing, but if you're using really dark polishes, like if you decided to use like, if you wanted like a darker man or something, like if you use red and black, you would for sure want to, um, wipe your polish. Give me my flakies. No, I want to look at them. Oh, they're so cool. Child, oh, no. give me the flakies. <laughs> give me the flakies. I'm so sorry about that. Um, and then so that is literally all there is to it. Um, again, no, 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 no. So um, use the glossy top coat, and then if you wanted to, he just left. Oh, okay. And then if you wanted to, after that dries, use the matte top coat. I'm just using Revlon's. So yeah, come say bye. Oh my gosh, hurry up, child. No, I said come say bye. Say bye. bye. <laughs> Maybe in my other videos, I'll show you my cute little brother. Yeah, yeah, one. he's so cute. I'll bring him right now. No, okay, yeah, fine. Okay, so I guess I can just show you tips. Like for gradienting, like like I said in my last video, for the gradients, especially start with like the pointer finger and then do one coat on each one before starting the second coat around your hand. It'll make the gradient smoother and it'll turn out better. I'm waiting for them to come in my room, so I'm telling you useless tips. Come here! <laughs> Oh, okay, just leave him. Just leave him. Never mind. He's fine. Hudson, He's not coming in here. Um, <laughs> yeah, my brother actually thinks my YouTube account is popular. I don't even think I have a single subscriber. So, <laughs> yeah. first subscriber, we're gonna do it. Um, um, uh, 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 a bunch of not a bunch of color gradients. First subscriber. Please stop. Now I've said that, now you know, so now you have to do it. No one's even watching this, Lincoln. I'm recording it still. And this is going to be on the video. I know it is. <gasps> okay, go. Well. Where's Goodbye. my Captain America? No. Where's my Captain America? This stupid Captain America. No, he's gorgeous. He's stupid with no. the doll. Mm, you don't make fun of my Captain America doll. I helped mm. win it. I helped win it. No one cares. Look. That's it.
<laughs> Say bye. Oh wait, that's cover by Hudson, Hudson, oh. come here, come look at me. Hudson, look at the camera. <gasps> do duck face. Show me how you do duck face. <laughs> You're so cute. Okay, I like. My chair is Bye. Bye. Hudson said bye. His name's Hudson. Okay. Thank you the for watching. Bye. Bye. Get out. No. Get out. Okay. Good. Thanks for watching and good and good. Bye. No. <laughs> I got the figure in there. Okay.